Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to one and all present here. Today, I am going to speak on the topic Vedic Mathematics. This is presented by Hiza Minha of class 7A9. Now, do you know what Vedic Mathematics are? Some might be familiar, but some might not. So today, I am going to clear all your confusions and talk about Vedic Mathematics. Vedic Maths is one of the world's easiest and simplest way to do math. So we are going to compile and do some number crunching today. So as I said earlier, it is the easiest and fastest way to do mathematical arithmetic with the help of sutras or techniques. Do you know who discovered Vedic math? Vedic math was discovered by Jabhat Guru Sri Bharati Krishna Tirtachi from the Vedas which are ancient books written by the Brahmanas in the medieval period. It is originally composed in Sanskrit. Let us check some tricks or methods or sutras in Vedic math. Nikhilam Sutra, Anurupena Sutra, Ega Yunena Purvena, Antirodaksha P, which are specific techniques, and Urdhavateraka and Vinakilam process, which are general technique. Multiplication Sutras in Vedic Mathematics are 5. Multiplication of a number or a two digit number by 11. To multiply any number by 11, imagine there is a space in between, just like social distancing today in this COVID period. Here I will talk about this with the example 25 times 11. Step 1. Put an imaginary space in between, just like social distancing now. Step 2. Add both the side numbers and put the result in, the in that imaginary space. And there's your answer. 25 times 11 is 275. Nikhilam Sutra, Paravarti Sutra, Anurupena Sutra and Ekadikena Purvena which are specific technique and direct flag method and questionnaires which are general technique Division Sutras in Mathematics, Vedic Mathematics are classified in the form of six Sutras. Dividing a large number by 5 and collecting notebooks in the class require the same time. You don't believe me, do you? Just give me two minutes. I will explain you the magic of Vedic Mathematics. In the first step, multiply the number by 2, while in the second step, move the decimal point. That's how easy it is. Here I am taking the example as 40 divided by 5. I have 40 biscuits and I have 5 dogs. I want all of my dogs to have same amount of biscuits, but I don't know division. I do know multiplication and decimal decimals. So, in the first step, I'll multiply 40 into 2, which I'll get 80, and I'll just move decimal point one step before. Then I'll get 8, and there's your answer. Now take a pencil and paper and write some sums which you feel is very hard to do mentally. And see the magic of Vedic mathematics. Hoping that you all understood my PPT and will include my methods in your daily life. I end my PPT by saying thank you and have a nice day.